Two years ago, I made the highly impractical and totally inevitable decision to leave my job as a synagogue executive and come to rabbinical school at Hebrew College because I thought there was something more for me in this world. Boy, was I right. What I was looking for in a rabbinical school was to soak in Torah, to feel it in my body. And I think that longing, that thirst is really palpable at Hebrew College, both among the students and also among our teachers. I chose to come to Hebrew College intentionally because of its pluralism and because of its genuineness. Because I believe strongly that the best way to learn Torah is to learn it with an open mind and open heart and not to shy away from any thoughts just because you think they won't be accepted. One thing that I love most about teaching at Hebrew College is the rigorous emotional and creative ways that students read texts such that when we open a text together in class or in meetings one-on-one, -on -one, the text comes alive to us, to me, in ways that it never has before. Our teachers are wells of Torah and it's Torah I feel like I can trust because it shows up in their relationships um, both with each other and in their lives, but also with us, their students. In the first pages of the Bible and Talmud, in, in my first year at Hebrew College, I encountered stories of Hidgagit, of leaving the garden and praying in temple ruins. From my teacher's questions, from my peers' curiosity, I started, I started feeling those stories as my own. I started feeling Torah as the garden that I had to leave, the ruined temple where I prayed. The Hebrew College, we don't just have Torah. We have Torah, we have Torah, we have Teira, we have Torah. All of these students that are bringing with them their different backgrounds, where they come from, where they've learned, where they're headed, where they want to be headed, all come into this central word of Torah. I remember orientation week. I expected to meet the new students and maybe a few others, but the entire school was there. 50 plus students, and we were all able to fit in the Beit Midrash, which is amazing. And I just felt the warmth and welcoming from every single student. There was not one unfriendly student, and it just blew me away. I'm in my second year since choosing to transfer to Hebrew College, and I'm incredibly happy that I did. I feel like in so many ways, Hebrew College has me and holds me and holds me for the fullness of myself and my the identities and gifts that I bring to the classroom. Something that I love about Hebrew College is that we take our learning really seriously, but we don't take ourselves too seriously. And I think this gets exemplified in a lot of ways, but one way that it manifested in this wonderful Zoom world we're in right now is that we were in a class last semester and one of my classmates spontaneously decided to change his Zoom name to the name of one of the sages. So he changed his name to Rabbi Yohanan and slowly other people started catching on and then suddenly we had a Rabbi Akiva and we had an Avraham thrown in there and all these other different things. And it was just this really sweet moment of getting to have a joke and a laugh in the middle of our Zoom class. Um, and the teacher went right along with it and kept on teaching. And I just felt like it really exemplified our ability to kind of learn deeply and question each other and question the text and also have a little laugh and find a little joy even in the challenging moments. Our faculty demonstrate exactly what it means to be a rabbi in the community. We call our faculty by their first names, they have us over for meals and for Shabbatot, and if there's something going on in our lives, our faculty and teachers are there to check in and be there with us. The Mikorot, the first year cohort, became such close friends. People who had strengths in different areas lifted each other up and helped tutor each other, and it was just such an amazing year. My Hebrew college experience has profoundly impacted my, my spiritual growth. It's been like almost every year has a different theme around what I've been able to grow and heal in. People are there because they want to be there, they're passionate, they 
their learning is very personal. They are willing to be uncomfortable. They're willing to ask hard questions. A few years ago, I was exploring to fill in and working to figure out how to fill in with fit in my prayer practice. I asked many classmates and professors about their own experiences with tefillin, and my questions were received with open arms. I was in awe with how many people shared openly their intimate prayer practice with me. Hebrew College understands deeply that growth happens in a state of vulnerability, and I've seen this each and every day. Standing outside of a club at 1 a.m. in Jerusalem with my classmates, we took a group photo, and I remember thinking, how much I really rely on this fun, wacky, creative community, one that's committed to diving deep into the tradition but also being playful with it to help me grow in my rabbinic path. We all come from such different places with a wide expanse of Jewish teaching and knowledge and understanding. And so for us to just cast our net wide and really begin to understand how different people live Jewishly while deeply rooting ourselves into our own practice, um, it's an insane amount of growth. During COVID, I knew I was going to miss the buzz in the Beit Midrash. Um, and that's because it's not just the buzz of like intellectual engagement. There is also love in that room. It's real, intoxicating, all-encompassing, head over heels, Ahavat Torah, love of our tradition, and desire for it. I want to be that kind of learner. I want God willing to be that kind of teacher, and I can't imagine anywhere better to let Torah settle into my bones and animate who it is I'm going to be. Oh,